Hello guys, this is section 5 and in this section we're going to be looking at security flaws. The first video will be on browser history and the second video will be on ad blocking. The third video will be on top monitoring. We're going to be looking at the top command or the top program on the terminal. The fourth video will be on htop, um, which is another type of top monitoring for traffic. And also the last video, we're going to be taking a look at resetting IP Intel. We're going to be looking at how we can camouflage or keep our IP safe on the internet. This is Kali Linux tips, tricks, and techniques. And we're going to be looking at the first video, browser history. Now, internet history or browser history is a term for tool or resource in a web browser that keeps track of sites and pages that a user visits. This is just to let you know that um, internet history facilitates a quick reference or lookup of previous visited pages. All right, that's all we're going to be taking a look in our Firefox browser on our Kali Linux. And on our terminal, we all know that we have a command called history. Let me type in the command called history. Then tap the enter on my keyboard. As you can see here, this will actually show me the previous commands I have used on my terminal. This is how history works. But we're going to be taking a look at the history on our Firefox browser. We're going to go straight to where the preferences are. We'll go to our library. Under our library, we have what is called bookmarks, view pocket list, we have history, we have downloads, we have sync tabs, and we have screenshots. Under our history, when I click that, you can see um, the recent highlights is um, the previous web pages I visited. You can see over here, we have a list of recent pages I visited on this Firefox web browser. So that is how the browser history works on your system. Like if I try typing a particular website on this tab over here, it's actually going to be showing over here. Because I opened the Firefox browser and we have Kalinux as the default main page you can see that we have the first row over here when i type in another website that is what is going to happen so that's all for this video guys